channel today I'm going to be cooking up some banana fritters right so I'm going to show you what you're going to need to make this banana fritters first of all the bananas are very important I have about six bananas here and the banana that I'm going to use it's like very very ripe right you have to be really ripe because the riper the bananas are is the sweeter the banana is going to be and the more delicious it's going to be to make a banana fritters and as you can see the banana have spots on it that's when you know so the banana ready right so to that i'm going to use two cups of flour i'm going to use one cup of sugar now this is a granulated sugar you can use brown sugar if you want but today I'm going to use granulated granulated sugar and make it right if you want it sweeter you can add two cups of sugar and if you want it even sweeter you can add more sugar but me I'm going to use one cup of sugar now I'm going to add some vanilla some grounded cinnamon nutmeg salt and of course cooking oil this is corn oil you can use any kind of oil evio corn oil Whatever kind of oil, 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 any kind of oil, let's use that. And here we go. We just have to peel off the, the skin. All right, I'm going to use six bananas. I'm going to be making servings for maybe about five people. If you want to make a bigger batch, you can use more bananas uh, as you go along. Also, a lot of people tend to use baking powder, baking, baking flour, and and baking soda and emptying the banana fritters me i don't put that in there because what's going to happen is it's going to rise and it's going to suck up all the oil and that won't have that banana original banana fritters flavor anymore it's going to taste like banana muffin or banana pancake we don't want that right this peeling ready i'm going to go ahead and add one cup of sugar and again you could also use the brown sugar and i'm just going to go ahead and kind of mash this up together with the sugar right that's mashed up back in the days my mother used to make this to me all the time i grew up eating banana fritters every friday all right so you go ahead and just mash that up you don't have to mash it up perfect because i like to feel like when i'm eating my banana fritters i like to taste okay, the banana okay so here together. we have it the banana and the sugar come together real nice so now we're going to add our ingredients to that. I'm going to add a little, little more than a half a teaspoon of nutmeg. Then I'm going to add the same half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder. I'm going to also be adding about two teaspoons of vanilla. And as for salt, I'm just going to pinch my salt in there. I'm not even going to use that spoon. I'm just going to pinch the salt. I don't want no too much salt in my thing. Just give that a nice little mix. Okay, now the flour. I'm going to add a little at a time. This is two cups of flour. Alright, we just fold that in. And just keep spinning. A little bit more flour. just keep folding it in good exercise for the arms then and banana fitters is very nice with a nice long glass of milk too you know try it tell me how you like it with, with the milk and then I'm adding some more okay so this is what it's supposed to look like after you done mix it up and everything this should be the texture of it you don't want it thin and you don't want it too thick because if it if it's too thin it's not gonna hold and get the formation when you fry it and if it's too thin it will mash up mash up and it does not go taste right so this is what you want well okay guys I have about four ounces of oil in the pot now you gotta make sure and this is very important to fry the banana fritters you gotta make sure that oil is hot if you put the banana fritters in the pot and the oil not hot, your banana fritters are gonna stick. And if it stick, you're gonna have flour, flour fritters instead of banana fritters. So make sure you say your pot hot. 
I have my fire here between seven and eight. That means between high and medium, okay? So here we go. I have a big spoon here and I'm just gonna go ahead and just drop that in. See, so when you put it in, it starts to fry. Like immediately. And once again, guys, I did not put no baking soda, no baking powder. I did not use no self rising flour and all them thing there because I'm not fried dumpling. I am making fritters. what happens when the pot the iron nice and hot when you shake it it even move it that's because the oil is hot so I'm let this fry for about a good three minutes on one side and I'm gonna flip it over to the other side three minutes it doesn't take that very long to fry okay so now we're gonna turn it on the other side it's been cooking for about I will probably say three to four minutes so far. So we just flip it over. So it flip over nice. That's because I put it in the oil that was hot. If you put it in a cold oil, this would have happened. You just want to just go ahead and just give it a nice little flip. Now these are pretty, a nice little size. You can make them smaller if you want to. Alright, so that's going to fry for another 3 to 4 minutes on that side. And then when I'm done with the whole batch, I'll come back and show you guys what it looks like on a plate. Now here we have the finishing touch of our banana fritters as you can see guys I did not use any baking soda baking flour none of them kind of thing there you see how nice and thick it is it comes out nice and fluffy just perfect without any kind of baking flour baking powder baking soda just make sure that you beat the mixture thoroughly so here we have it guys once again from my kitchen to yours. Enjoy!